the parameters that you are going to monitor during your pilot study? So in our German pilot study, we'll be doing a mass monitoring and a chemical sample. For the mass monitoring, we will have temperature, relative humidity, CO2, particulate matter, and uh, total VOCs. Um, and this will be accompanied by chemical sampling, which includes microbiome, uh, PM sampling, and uh, VOC sampling. And do you think that the population that you are targeting in your study is a bit aware about the possible negative effect of poor air quality? Yeah, so I think if we look at the university setting, um, I think we all have been in classrooms with stuffy and bad air, and you can notice some sort of concentration and, and focus, a loss of focus. But I think many people are not aware where this comes from. So, I mean, we know CO2 has an impact on, on concentration, focus, and create fatigue. And so I think our job is to, to really link these symptoms to indoor air quality and make the people aware on, on, on the air they breathe and how this affects in the end their, their health and, and their day-to-day -day life. And how do you think the initiatives like the air in air, so you really make these pranks in enhancing both the knowledge and the and lower the impact of indoor quality for the entire population. Yeah, so I think with air it's very hard right, to detect if there's a bad pollution. If we open a, a water tap and the water is brown, we immediately notice it's a bad water. But for air it's different, right? So I think the first step that we're doing is the detection. So really getting to know what is in the air, what are the pollutants, and accompany this with, with studies around, around health. And so together with these two factors, we can talk about mitigation. What are strategies how to improve the air um, and to enhance the health? And, and also, this can be very different factors on furniture, ventilation, filter elements. So, um, all of this, I think, in the end, will, will contribute.